puke all over the place. <laughs>
said, all right, now, that's enough of that. I would come to Louisa and fix you up. You don't dare call Pop true. <laughs> How much is it going to cost me? <laughs> so I have quite a bit of authority here. I would just make this go away. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what. You call Bob Drew and we're going to this city. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just skipping through the hall. Now I'm getting ready. You're not getting ready. Because you are stupid. And you don't want to just. <laughs> Going to Kelly's office. I'm like, yeah, what's up? Just so shut the door. <laughs> what's up, Kelly? Seems pretty serious. She goes, are you going to do that whole stand-up deal again? <laughs> well, I'm kind of forcing my way in there because my wife doesn't want me to, so I figure anything I can do to embarrass her, I'm <laughs> Suddenly she opens up her desk and she pulls out this printout of names. <laughs> What's that going to She says, this is my hit list. <laughs> What are you talking about? She goes, well, some people seem to be getting a little bit big for their bridges now. <laughs> I'm like, you're talking about Joe Ann, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I said, listen, Kelly, she's an executive vice president. I am not going to bother her. <laughs> Kelly's like, listen, you work for me. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Shit. All right. I'll do my best. So anyway, I'm getting raised. Or... <laughs> she says, it's not that kind of email, Jimmy. Go back to your desk. <laughs> so I came back out of her office, and all those peons that sit in that row, they were like, <laughs> he's not getting no worries. She's not getting no worries. He's a dumbass. <laughs> anyway, so... Sorry, Joanne. It's really not my fault. But I wanted to stop this lady in Louisiana from getting to Bob Drew before I did. Now, we've all been in the position where we're trying to call Bob about something important, but he's not quite picking up the phone fast enough. So I call, I call his cell phone. Actually, I usually call his office phone first, but never picks that up. That goes straight to voicemail. Hello? This is Bob Drew. <laughs> I'm not in the office right now because I'm hunting rabbits. <laughs> 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 here he comes. He's doing this well. He's got a shotgun. <laughs> James never going to wear his hat on you. <laughs> Cell phone. He doesn't answer. It goes to the same kind of voice, but I let you land it. <laughs> so I hang up and I'm like, man, this chick is going to call Bob Drew, God knows who, and I'm going to have to explain myself about how I didn't give a damn about her claim. <laughs> so Bob calls me back. He's like, hi, Jimmy, it's me, Bob Drew. <laughs> like, Bob, it's not my fault. We didn't do that. We're not going to create shockwaves that are going to go from the parking lot, hit this lady's house, knock the JFK pictures down, and cause all this damage. You know, I was really nice to her. I was kissing her ass the whole time. Bob says, Jane, you ever drink moonshine? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Back of the trivia, they call me Billy Bob. <laughs> Gives me her number and address and says, yeah, come down, pick the dog up, cheers, whatever. So on my flex day, I have my son, his name is Thomas, and yeah, you know, about that tall. I said, hey man, I'm gonna go with me and pick up your dog. He's like, dude, are you serious? I'm playing wheel here. Wheel my ass, let's go get that dog. <laughs> He's like, okay. So we get the car. We start driving to parts unknown in St. Charles. And most of you probably aren't that familiar with St. Charles. But I didn't realize there's an actual ghetto <laughs> in St. Charles. And it's scary. We pull up, there's this like flop house, and there's a couple of hobos smoking cigarettes. And I look at them, and I'm like, whoa. I look at Thomas, I'm like, dude, dude, you. He's like, go get that damn dog, let's get out of here. I'm like, are you serious? You're gonna like, let me go in there and get the dog by myself? Well, I got a mom, big deal. <laughs> and listen, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you my phone. I'm going to go in there and get the dog. I want you to text your mom this address just in case something happens to me. He's like, cool. So I hand him my phone. I start to get out of the car. I go get the dog. He's texting away. Go in, get this little puppy. Nothing happened. There's no big drama. Take the dog back out. He hands me the phone. Put the dog in the car. Start driving. And my wife calls me and says, why are you texting me? It says, cow says moo moo. <laughs> I was like, I was supposed to be my safety in case you know, something happened and I get to me. She goes, well, so did you get the dog? I said, I got the dog. It's a, it's a cute little dog, you know. I'm going to bring it into bed tonight and it's going to sleep with me. She's like, yeah, whatever. She's going to sleep with me wherever you want. <laughs> So basically, I put the dog in bed, pissed all over the sheets, and had to change the sheets, <laughs> throw the dog out of the bed, woke up with the dog the next morning, the dog's got its face clamped to my nose, <laughs> its little teeth piercing my nostrils, and I was like, you know what, this has just been, this has been an awesome day. Thank you very much. Love you all, and enjoy the rest of the evening. 